much. And in the studio here today, I have an extraordinary spoken word artist and poet, El Fanti. So, El Fanti, you're welcome. I need you to tell me. You say you believe in the youth, but your administration is run by old men. You said if you liked it, you will reduce the price of fuel to 45 naira per liter. But after you were elected, you increased the price to 145 naira per liter to make life more difficult for Nigerians. That's not enough. You promised to increase the value of our currency for one naira to be exchanged for one dollar. But after you were given power, you devalued our naira to be exchanged for 360 per dollar. You promised to give us capital to start new businesses but didn't. Instead, within four years of your reign, you borrowed over 13 trillion naira on our behalf so the young could inherit the debt. <laughs> and for your priorities, you said security is one of it. So you gave us fertilizer to grow our crops so the headsmen could feed us. In the past administration, cows were slaughtered for humans to eat. But in your administration, humans are slaughtered for cows to eat. Yet, you're silent about it. But we know you're not silent because whatever you're not resisting, you are accepting. Hey, listen up Nigeria. I don't know if it's Buhari or Jibril. But incompetent is he, no matter what name you give him. A man who can boldly stand in the public to disrespect his wife does not deserve any vote from our women. Why should our women be reduced to the kitchen and the other room by our president when they can become presidents themselves? APC. Before you seek to govern Nigeria, learn to govern yourselves. You say you're fighting corruption, but corruption is winning the fight. You say you're providing security, but only to the headsmen. You say you're strengthening our economy, but making us poor. Wake up Nigeria, APC is a nightmare. A candidate as incompetent as Buhari is a disaster to our country. And we must not give our country to the hands of a disaster again. This is a call to every Nigerian. To the Christian and the Muslim, to the teacher and the preacher, to the musician and politician. We must come together as a nation to take APC out of power or we we'll perish together as a nation. And to do that, we need the man who is physically, financially, intellectually and politically competent to defeat the incumbent. And after his strategic calculative analysis, I realized that no one among the presidential aspirants is as competent as Atiku. Not because he belongs to a major political party, or because of what he said he would do, but because of what he has done and who he is. We need a leader who will unite us, not divide us. A leader whose position in Nassau Rock will make every religion, tribe and region have a sense of belonging. So we all can proudly say, we have a leader who carries all of us along, without any form of prejudice or bias. I see Atiku as a symbol of unity in Nigeria. I can justify that through his philosophies and ideologies, the friends he keeps around him, the kinds of people in his campaign team, and those he has employed to take care of his private businesses. I see people from all over Nigeria working with him. That's the kind of person Nigeria needs as their president. A leader who will bring us closer to each other and remind us that Nigeria belongs to all of us and its success depends on all of us. We need him to apply the same skill he used to grow his businesses to grow our economy, to revive dead businesses and make way for new ones he match, to restore the jobs and livelihoods APC took away from Nigerians as a result of poor economic policy and restore the glory of our currency. Hear me Nigeria, how you do one thing determines how you do another. If Atigo can manage his private funds successfully, he can manage our public funds successfully. To restore a crippled economy like ours, we need a president who has a business mindset. And Atigo has the right mindset we need to give life to our economy again. And for security, no presidential aspirant is better or qualified to address our current security problem than the man who came from a region where security has been threatened more than any other region in Nigeria with Boko Haram killing people on the left and the headsmen killing more people on the right. No man can understand the pain of losing a loved one to insecurity than the man who is living with the pain already. And Atiku has in one way or the other lost a brother, sister, friend or relative in the northeast to insecurity. Atiku feels the pain in Nigeria. Give him a chance to put an end to insecurity. Give him a chance to put an end to the bloodshed and shield us from the terror of the Boko Haram and the horror of the headsmen. Oh no, 
My greatest mistake was going with the majority to cast my vote for APC in 2015. But after one year of hardship, it reminded me of this moral lesson. That majority do not decide what is right or wrong. Your conscience does. And consciously, if you will follow your conscience and analyze critically without sentiment or self, you will realize that Atiku is the best candidate Nigeria needs at this moment. And for those of you who still consider voting ABC into power again, I caution you to take precaution and reconsider the repercussion of your action. Think right, Nigeria. My name is Elfonsi, and in the interest of Nigeria, I stand to recommend Atiku for president. What are you waiting for? Stand with me. God bless Nigeria.